All right, so this is probably going to be one of the most important videos which you're going to watch on YouTube because I'll be taking a deep look at the SD cards. Yes, I've been asked this question a lot of times, about a million times now from the time I started my channel, which is the correct SD card or a micro SD card to purchase for your specific dash cam or for your specific camera, whichever you're having. So this video will apply to anyone who has any sort of a video recording equipment. It might be your dash cam, it might be your DSLR, it might be your 360 degree camera, it might be a drone, it might be your action camera, no matter which one, if your camera shoots videos, if your camera records images, this is the video which you should not ever miss. So I will tell you all you need to know about SD cards and by the time you have finished watching this video, you will probably never ask the question to anybody that which is the right SD card to choose for your specific camera. You can make that decision pretty easily. You're watching Travel Tech. Let's get started. So what's an SD card? SD stands for Secure Digital. So this is a memory card format developed by the SD Association. So SD cards come in various different storage types or storage sizes and based on the storage sizes they are divided primarily into three types. The standard SD card which has a storage limit of up to 2 GB. The SDHC card, the HC stands for high capacity and it has a storage of 4 GB to 32 GB. The third type is the SDXC. The XC stands for extended capacity and the storage limit is from 64 GB up to 1 TB. So whenever you take a look at the SD card, well if I'm specifically talking about this one, so it says SDHC, this means it is high capacity, which means it has a storage capacity from a minimum of 4 GB up to 32 GB. And as you can see, this is a 32 GB memory card. So you can easily make out the storage limit of any SD card if you just take a look at the type of SD card that is printed on top of it. But SD cards are not just about their storage capacities. You can also classify SD cards based on the speeds with which you can write any files or write any data on top of the SD card. So the SD association came up with a new way to standardize the speed ratings for the memory cards. They are known as speed classes and refer to the absolute sustained minimal write speeds. Within this, there are three types, speed class, UHS speed class, and video speed class. So let's take a look at the first speed class, the standard speed class. So this is denoted by the letter C and there are four ratings within this. C2, C4, C6 and C10. C stands for class and the number stands for the minimum write speed. C2 has a minimum write speed of 2 MB per second. C4 has a minimum write speed of 4 MB per second. C6 has a minimum write speed of 6 MB per second and a C10 or a class 10 has a minimum write speed of 10 MB per second. C10 or class 10 memory card is now the current industry standard and usable for most of the devices which are out there because probably nobody uses the class 2 to class 6 nowadays. Coming to the next speed class which I told you about which is the UHS speed class. Now UHS stands for ultra high speed and this is denoted by the letter U. So you might see a U lettering on the memory card and if you're confused what that means here is the answer. So there are only two types of UHS speed class, U1 and U3. So you might clearly see on the memory card, it might be a U1 or a U3. And what the U1 means, it is UHS speed class 1, which means it has a minimum write speed of 10 MB per second. U3 stands for UHS speed class 3. And this means it has a minimum write speed of 30 MB per second. That's it. Two simple subdivisions between the UHS speed class. So the card must be either a U1 or a U3. Most commonly used is the U1 speed class. So what makes the UHS1 or UHS3 more advanced than the standard speed class? It is the fact that they use one of the two UHS bus interfaces. Now this means the way the memory card is connected to the device on a hardware level. So within the bus interface there are two types UHS1 and UHS2. So you might see this 1 and 2 Roman numerals on the SD cards specifically showing one or two ratings. So the one rating means it is a UHS-1 bus interface memory card and this particularly means it has a max transfer speed or a read write speed of 104 MB per second and if it's a UHS-2 it has a max read write or a transfer rate of 312 
MB per second. So the standard speed class which I just mentioned the class 10 class 6 this denotes the minimum ride speed and the UHS speed class which is the U1 and the U3 also indicate the minimum ride speeds but the UHS 1 and UHS 2 bus interface type indicates the maximum transfer data rate. Both U1 and the U3 memory cards can utilize the UHS 1 bus interface but they are not compatible with the UHS 2 bus interface. So the UHS bus interface to put it simply indicates the maximum theoretical read write speed for that specific memory card and it's denoted by the roman numerals 1 and 2 right on top of the card. So the good thing about the UHS bus interface is that they are backwards compatible which means if you use a UHS 2 bus interface card in a UHS 1 bus interface device it will work flawlessly but it won't be able to take the maximum advantage or the speed advantage the UHS 2 carries inherently within it. It can only work to the level of UHS 1 speed limit. Okay, so that was about the UHS speed class. Let's move on to the last and the final speed class which is the video speed class. So this is the latest speed class created to enable higher video resolution, higher video recording, multiple data streams, 360 degree videos, VR recording and stuff like that. So the video speed class is denoted by the letter, guess what, V. Simple right, it's easy to understand. And there are 5 ratings for this video class, V6, V10, V30, V60 and V90. And what do these correspond to? The V6 has a minimum write speed of 6 MB per second. The V10 has a minimum write speed of 10 MB per second. The V30 similarly has 30 MB per second. The V60 has 60 MB per second. And the V90 has a minimum write speed of 90 MB per second. So the video speed class is pretty unique because it can utilize both the UHS-1 and the UHS-2 bus interfaces. The speed class from V6 to V90 can use the UHS-2 bus interface but the UHS-1 bus interface can only support V6 to V30 speed class memory cards. Lastly, a new classification has been presented with the introduction of the Android's adopted storage device feature. This is called as the app performance class and is denoted by, guess what, the letter A. Basically, these are ideal for smartphones and mobile gamings which use random read write speeds while at the same time using the same memory card for storage as well. So within the app performance class, there are two simple ratings, A1 and A2. So here's a quick chart to show you what the A1 and the A2 stands for. So on top here, you have the class one or the A1, which has a minimum random read speed of 1500 IOPS. Now IOPS stands for input output operations per second. Now the A1 also has a minimum random write speed of 500 IOPS and a minimum sustained sequential write speed of 10 MB per second. This is same with the class 2 or a A2 as well. But in case of A2, it has a minimum random read speed of 4000 IOPS and a minimum random write speed of a 2000 IOPS. So the app performance class is something to consider if you're planning on installing any Android apps on the memory card. So this was pretty much it. I have explained all the various different symbols, the numerals, I mean everything which you can see on a SD card, on a micro SD card and once you take a look at a SD card again, you can clearly make out what each letter and number stands for. So even after watching until now, if you are a bit confused, probably even I am confused, here's a quick chart. So once you watch this chart, you will get a complete idea of the kind of video footage your device shoots and what is the compatible micro SD card for it. So just take a look at this chart, you can even pause the video and take a look at it in detail. So this will completely clear all your doubts regarding the kind of memory card you need for the kind of video you want to shoot. Take a look. So if you see on the left corner, you have the standard speed class ratings that is C2, C4, C6 and C10. Next you have the UHG speed class and then you have the video speed class that is the latest speed class. Then the corresponding video format has been given on the right side of the table, giving you the compatibility in terms of 8K video, 4K video, then followed by full HD video, HD video and lastly the standard video. So if you start taking a look at the chart from the bottom, so as you can see the class 2 card can support a standard video only that is a 2 MB per second recording. The class 4 card which is a 4 MB per second can support full HD or HD video and even the standard video. The class 6 card which is 6 MB per second can support 4K video more or less and the following formats as well. The class 6 card also corresponds to the V6 rating of the video speed class since it's given in the same rank. 
Following that, the class 10 card, which is probably the most common card which you're going to see, also corresponds to the UHS Speed Class 1 and the V10 Video Speed Class rating. This is the most compatible for any 4K video recording and even any full HD or a HD recording. Following that, you have the UHS Speed Class 3 or the U3. There is no corresponding previous speed class because it is outdated. The U3 also corresponds to the V30 in the video speed class and can support 8K video, 4K video and the lesser resolutions as well. Later on, as you can see, there is no UHS speed class after that. It straight away jumps to video speed class V60 which supports 8K and 4K and the V90 which is specifically for 8K video. So if you have understood this chart really well, you will know the next time the kind of speed class or the kind of memory card you need to buy for the kind of device dash camera or a video recording camera which you want to buy it for so this was the complete overview of the sd cards the micro sd card naming the lettering so in terms of specifically talking about dash cameras because i do a lot of dash cam videos here is a quick chart showing you all the compatible micro sd cards for 70 my ddpi and next digitron dash cameras so these are recommended by these companies and sandisk is not included within this list because these companies do not recommend buying sandisk since there are a lot of counterfeit options both in offline and online stores so the chart which i've shown you on the screen right now so these all are compatible with all of the 70 my ddpi and next digiton dash cameras do note that the ddpi mini and the next digiton a3 won't support the western digital micro sd cards so in case of vo4 dash cameras they have a separate list of micro sd cards which they actually recommend to use with their dash cameras so as you're taking a look on the screen right now here is a chart showing you the recommended sd cards and the ones which are not recommended so currently vo4 recommends the vo4 original cards or sandisk max or the extreme endurance cards as shown in the picture but they do not recommend the samsung evo card so what should be the storage capacity which you should buy at the end of this i mean should you buy a 32 gb card 64 128 256 512 so all manufacturers generally provide this info while you're purchasing it you can even inquire with them so once you confirm the maximum storage the device supports you can buy the corresponding micro sd card or even slightly lesser if you don't have that kind of a budget so once you've done that this makes the decision pretty easy at the end so all in all this was the complete overview of all you need to know everything you need to know about sd cards about micro sd cards and the one which is the most suitable to the kind of device which you're purchasing in spite of watching this video in spite of taking a look at the chart even if you still have doubts you can always write that down in the comments and i'll try to clear your doubts as soon as possible also i'll provide links to most of the sd cards which are available in the market right now right down in the description so if you want to purchase a sd card just click down on the description click on the link and purchase it so this video took a lot of effort a lot of planning i probably haven't done this much work for a video in recent times so this took a lot of hard work and i hope you recognize that and also if this video has helped you out in any way do make sure that you hit that subscribe button of my channel and don't go away without hitting that like button also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload such interesting videos thanks for watching and see you in the next one